Hello friends, welcome back to another session of Web Technologies Tutorials. In today's class, I'm going to discuss one lab experiment, which is write an XML file, which will display the book information, which includes the following. So the book information will be title, author, ISBN, publisher, edition, and price. Uh, we just need to create the XML file here. And later on, we just need to check or validate the XML file by using the document type definition, which is by creating DTD. So the DTD that we will be creating can be internal DTD or it can be external DTD, which is just used to validate your XML file. And after that, we just need to render it in the format of a table. So the content should be displayed in a table because XML is a way to just store the data. It cannot display anything on the browser for us. So we need a, a XSL file to actually do the styling and put it to give it a form. Uh, so we need to create one XSL form um, and uh, uh, the XSL form purpose is to give it a styling. Okay, so the header of the table should be in color gray and the other name column should be displayed in one color and should be capitalized and in bold. Okay, so the other name should be in bold and it should be capitalized. Capitalized means that the first letters of the names of the author should be capitalized. Uh, so use your own colors for the remaining columns, but for the uh, author, we just need to keep it uh, one color and then uh, make it capitalized, okay? And uh, so for doing this styling, we'll be using uh, use XML schemas, uh, XSL and CSS for the above purpose. We require CSS to do the styling for giving it bold and capitalized and all that, and giving it some colors and putting the table in the center and all that we'll be doing in CSS. Uh, so here, uh, uh, there are some uh, uh, guidelines given. So the first one is give uh, at least uh, uh, four books and it should be it should be valid syntactically so we'll be checking it in the dtd whether this uh, books are correctly given and the syntax of title author isbn publisher edition price or that all that are given syntactically or not and uh, here they also gave a hint that you can use some xml editors like xml spy okay so we'll get started so let me first open the notepad and uh, uh, type in the XML file, and then we'll uh, try to do the validations. So on my desktop, I'll be creating a folder. Uh, so I'll be creating a folder here, and I'll name the folder as bookstore, okay? So I'll name the folder as bookstore. And my XML uh, files and uh, XSL files, all the DTD files or whatever they are, I'll be putting in this particular folder. Okay, so now I'll open notepad. So this is my notepad. So I just have opened the notepad. So I'll save this notepad as bookstore. Uh, so where do I need to store it? So I'll be storing it on the desktop. Okay, so on the desktop, I have a folder which is bookstore. So inside this bookstore, I'll be storing this as bookstore.xml. Okay, so I'll be saving this file as bookstore.xml. So I just saved it so you can see that on the desktop inside this. So I have a, a file which is called as bookstore.xml. Okay, right. So let me go to the notepad. Okay, so this is my notepad. Uh, so what is XML? XML stands for extensible markup language, extensible markup language. And it's, it is a bit like HTML, but the difference between HTML and uh, XML is that uh, XML do not have the predefined tags, but whereas HTML have got its own predefined tags. Um, and uh, XML was uh, designed to carry the data, like we on focus on what data is. And uh, HTML was designed to display the data with the focus on how data looks and all that. Uh, so these are the differences between XML and uh, HTML and XML uh, will be having the sender information, receiver information, heading and um, message uh, body and all that, but it will do nothing. Okay, so you need to have the help of the CSS and XSL to actually put the data content, uh, give a shape to the data. Okay, uh, and uh, it was used, as I said, like it was used to design, um, it was designed to store and transport data. And uh, it is a W3C console recommendation. 
uh, what is meant by W3C is World Wide Web Consortium. Okay, so it is a World Wide Web Consortium recommendation. Uh, so let us get started. Uh, how to actually uh, get started? We just need to give the declaration of uh, XML. Uh, so the declaration of the XML will be inside this particular uh, tag, uh, lesser than and uh, question mark and the question mark and the greater than. Okay, so in between this, I'll be giving the XML definition. So XML and then declaration. Uh, so I'm saying version is equal to, so what is the version? Version is equal to 1.0. Okay, so this is XML declaration I'm doing. And uh, after this, like if you want, you can uh, actually add the XSL sheets and all that. As of now, I'm just creating an XML uh, file. And then I'll uh, later on, I'll keep adding uh, the DTDs and then XSL and all that. So I'm creating a tag. Okay, so I can create my own tag. Okay, so I'm creating a tag, which is bookstore. And uh, there is a close for the bookstore uh, tag as well. And then uh, in between this uh, uh, open and close bookstore tag, uh, then I'm giving one more tag, which is book tag. Okay, so then I'm giving one more tag, which is book tag. See, I'm giving my own tags. You can keep whatever name you want. You can keep it for this particular tags. Okay, so what is what are the things that you need to keep inside the book? You need to keep the title. So the first thing is the title you need to keep. And the next one is author. See, I'm I'm simply typing my own tags. Okay, so there are no, no predefined tags over here. And then next one is ISBN. And then what else you have? You have publisher, right? Okay, so publisher tag I'm keeping. And then I am uh, also taking the next tag, which is price tag. For every open tag, you just need to have the closing tag. So in between this open and close tag of this title, I'll be giving the title of the book. Okay, so I need to give the title of the book. Uh, say, for example, the title of the book is Black Book. Okay, so which is Web Technologies book. So I'm giving Black Book. And then the author of this particular Black Book is uh, Cogent uh, uh, Learning Solutions. So I'm giving that um, solutions. And then uh, see, I need to have a closing tag as well. So I can create my own tags over here. And then coming to the ISBN number, you can give your own ISBN number. You, you can give uh, the ISBN number of the book. Uh, so I have given the proper ISBN number of this particular book. Then I'm closing it, okay, with the uh, close tag of ISBN. And then you have the publisher. So what is the publisher? So it is Dream Tech, okay? So I'm saying Dream Tech Press. Uh, that's the publisher. Uh, so close the publisher tag. Okay. And then uh, the price of the book. So the price of the book, what, whatever it is, say it is 750. So then I'm saying it is, uh, I'm closing the price tag. See, I just have created the, so this is the outer tag, which is bookstore tag. Inside the bookstore, I'm having a tag, which is book tag. And the book tag started and ended over here, wherein it has taken one book uh, content. Okay, so in the similar way, I'll be uh, taking another book uh, over here, uh, book tag over here. And again, in between this, I'll be giving again the title, uh, price, uh, all this other ISBN publisher and uh, price, and I'll place over here. Okay, so this is my second book content. And then again, I'll be uh, taking the third book. Okay, so since in the question, they asked us to uh, take at least four books so we are taking four books again in between this book uh, uh, open and book close tag i again have given uh, uh, another book okay so uh, i'll change it and i'll uh, show you okay so this is the fourth uh, one that i have created okay so uh, so make sure that uh, all the tags are closed properly uh, so we have opened the bookstore uh, tag so the bookstore tag is closed over here at the end. That's it, friends. Uh, so this is how actually you create your XML. I change the content of the data. So here you can see that uh, this is a uh, black book, a WT, and this is Java. And the third book I have taken is database management system. And the fourth one is data structures. And I have included all the content in it. Okay. So let me save this. And I'll show you how this will be rendered on the browser. A bookstore right uh, so inside the bookstore so we have this uh, file so let me open um, open this in the 
a browser so i am saying open it in the microsoft edge uh, so uh, edge is a browser so inside this edge you can see that uh, this xml file does not appear to have any style information associated with this the documentary is shown below okay so this is actually the uh, schema or you can see xml uh, tree uh, that is there so bookstore is uh, the outer tag so inside the bookstore like you're having book uh, uh, tag so inside the book tag like you are having all these tags and all this is uh, shown here so this is a very small file okay so that's why even if you forget any tags over here um, uh, all that you can make it out with your uh, uh, human eye but since if there are say hundreds of books uh, book information that you need to keep in the bookstore then it will be very difficult for you to actually process whether you have given all the tags or not so there comes the feature of using uh, DTD. Okay, so document uh, validation. Okay, use the DTD, which is a document type definition, to do the validation on the XML page. Uh, so this is our XML. So back to our XML. Uh, so uh, there can be two ways in which, like, you will be using uh, DTD in your particular XML validation. So one is like you will be including the DTD code inside your XML uh, file itself or else the second way is like you can give it as a different file. So I'm doing it as an embedded uh, DTD. Uh, so I'm typing, I'm giving the validations, okay, inside my XML file itself. So after the XML declaration, uh, so I'll be doing that. Uh, so to do that, I need to use the syntax or something like this, okay, so I'm saying doc type. And then, uh, uh, so I need to give the name of the particular uh, file, which is the bookstore. So um, a given uh, open uh, square bracket and close square bracket and give a angular bracket. Okay, so this is what we need to do. In between this angular brackets, we need to type the validations. So what are the validations? So I'm saying uh, element. So everything is an element, right? HTML element uh, will be doing uh, uh, title or the, all these are elements of your XML. Uh, so I'm taking each and every element. So the first element is the bookstore, right? So the first element is the bookstore tag. So I'm taking the bookstore tag and uh, inside the bookstore, I'm having uh, multiple book uh, open and close uh, tags, right? So that's the reason I am typing book and then I'm giving a star, which means that there are so many uh, open book and uh, close book tags inside the bookstore. Okay, right. Um, I'm closing this particular tag. Uh, then open take another element. Uh, so I'm I'm saying that I have another element and now the element over here is the book element. So inside the book element, you're having uh, tags like title, uh, so author, uh, then comma, then uh, type it properly. Okay, so there should not be any spelling mistakes mismatched with the tags. Uh, so the next one is the publisher and then I have edition. Uh, and finally, we have the price. Okay, so this is what is there inside your book tag. Close this tag. Now again, what is the sec next element that we have? The next element that we have is a uh, uh, the title, right? Uh, so let me say element. Uh, and then what is the name of the tag? The name of the tag is title. Uh, so for the title, we just need to check whether the access, how to access the content. We'll be doing the access of the content by using the parsed character data, which is called as PC data. Okay, so we need to give the syntax as hash and then we need to say it as PC data. Okay, right. And then close the tag. So do that for uh, the rest of the elements, which is uh, for the author and all that. So I'm copying this, uh, paste it, paste it. Okay, so how many tags are there? Um, six are there, right? Okay, four, five, and six. Okay, so the first one is for the title. Second one is for the author. Okay. And the third one is for ISBN. And the fourth one is for publisher. So we just need to make sure that there are no spelling mistakes here because it will validate based on the element name. And the final one is price. 
okay and the final one is price uh, so that's it okay so this is what is called as okay let me highlight this this is what is called as your dtd file okay uh, so which is document type definition so wherein i just have given the validations like the tags are like this uh, so there is a bookstore tag inside the bookstore tag you are having so this is a parent tag uh, so there are multiple book tags inside it, book open and book close tags. Inside the book tag, you will be finding all these tags and you will need to validate and access each and every um, uh, data from this particular tags by using the PC data over here, which is considered to be the past ca character data. So all that we are giving over here, this is what is called as internal DTD. We haven't created any external one, uh, but here inside your XML itself, we have created it. So let me save this. Now, how this works, okay? So you just need to validate and see like whether um, all the tags that you have given are correct or not. For doing this, uh, you have many online uh, validators. So I'll show you one uh, among them. So the first validator is the trugo.com XML validator. So you just need to open Google and type trugo.com and then it will open for you. So here you will be seeing XML validator. You can beautify. Beautify means like all the tags come in one line and all that outer tags in one line and all that it will tabs and all that will be uh, um, given to your XML and it looks nice. The file looks nice. More readability will be added to your XML files. Uh, so here you can see that there is something which is called as upload wherein you just need to upload your XML file. Okay. Uh, so let me go to the desktop. So this is my uh, one. Okay. So inside the bookstore, uh, this is my XML file. So I'm just opening it. Um, and after uploading it, let me click on the validate XML. So as I uh, click on validate XML, so it is saying that syntax well formed and at line three, um, so there is a space required after the element name. So just uh, go in here. Okay, so I just need to give a space over here. Okay, so store name, after store name, I need to give a space. And after book also give a space, after title also give a space, and after order, then after ISBN, after publisher, okay? And then after edition, and then after price also give a space. Now save this, and I'll be reloading it once again. Okay, so upload, uh, then again, the bookstore, and then open, and then let me validate it. So you can see that uh, syntax well formed passed, DTD validation passed. Okay, so all means that uh, all the tags that you have given, everything is proper. Let me actually uh, remove one tag and show you like what DTD validation uh, will do to your XML. Okay, how it will. So here, let me take off this publisher. So this publisher, D, Dream Tech publisher is there, right? So I'm taking off this entire tag, okay? So I just took off this entire tag. There is no publisher for this particular book tag. But in validation, we have written that there should be publisher tag, okay? Let me save this and go back to your Trugo and let me upload it once again, okay? So this is the bookstore. So I have clicked on it, open. Okay, uploaded and now let me validate your XML. So now you can very clearly see that a uh, syntax is well formed of your XML, but DTD validation is showing you that at line number 13 element book content does not follow the DTD. Okay, expecting you need title order ISBN publisher edition and price, but uh, you just have title order ISBN edition and price. See, publisher is not there. So, God is telling that I only got this where publisher is missing. So, this is what your DTD validation can do to your XML, uh, wherein for small files, small, so simple lab experiments, it is okay. But when you are working on real-time applications, when your data is really big, then it will be difficult for you to actually validate. That's wherein your DTD validation will come into picture, do all the validations for you. Okay, so here you can see in the early case, like when I have given everything correctly, it said like DTD validation passed. Okay, but now it is saying that DTD validation failed. Okay, so you can use the online uh, 
uh, editors uh, to actually validate XML uh, files. Okay. Um, you can also use uh, Eclipse. You can also use uh, XML Spy uh, to do the validations. I'll show you even in that particular environment. So let us now uh, create XSL file and uh, do the styling to your XML. So let me get back to my notepad and let me give back the publisher. So I have given back the publisher. See, I mean, now when I upload it, once again, now it will not have any problem. Okay, so the validation work system, the code works accordingly. Okay, now it is saying that DTD validation passed. Okay, right. Uh, so now that our DTD validation is also done, now let us now add the XSL file to it. So I am taking one more uh, uh, document. Okay, I'm create. I'm taking a notepad, and now let us do the styling. Okay, I have opened my notepad. Uh, now let me save this particular file to be as bookstore.xsl uh, in the same folder that I have created. So I have created a bookstore folder, right? So inside this itself, I'm saying bookstore.xsl, uh, okay? So this is an XSL file. Uh, so where I'm creating the styling, okay? So for this, like I need to give the uh, uh declaration so i need again as i said like uh, xml declaration will be like this um so inside this i will be uh, telling that it is xml again version is equal to 1.0 okay so then uh, you can give the encoding as well so encoding is equal to so i'm saying utf hyphen eight okay right uh, so after this we need to say that this is an xsl sheet uh, so for that i'm saying xsl and then put a colon say that it is style sheet okay then i'm also giving version for this so this is the version 1.0 okay so uh, after this, we just need to give the namespace. Let me give the namespace in the next line. So, which is XMLNS. NS stands for the namespace. And then give a colon. Okay. So, after giving the colon, um, you just need to say that XSL is equal to, XSL is equal to give that it is of this particular, it consists inside this particular uh, path. Okay. So, HTTP. Uh, colon uh, slash slash and then we are saying www dot w3 c uh, okay so w3 dot org slash 1999 okay and then uh, give us slash which is xsl uh, slash transform okay um, so we just have given this inside your xml namespace and then after this um uh, we need to start okay so in again i am telling that it is an xsl and uh, xsl template so how is the template going to look like so i am saying the template will be having match is equal to so there will be some uh, forward slashes okay so this uh, forward slash means that uh, x path okay what is meant by x path x path means that uh, so what is the sequence so i am having bookstore and then inside the bookstore i'm having the book and then inside the book i'm having the title uh, so it will be like uh, uh, you know. okay so it will be like a bookstore okay so this is the outer tag i have given right then i have book and then inside the book i have the title okay so it will be something like this so this is what is called as X path, and you you just need to mention that X path like that. So there should be a match like that, okay? And then I am start. I'll be starting the HTML, okay? So these are must like inside your XSL sheets. You just need to put them, and then start your HTML, okay? So and then in the regular way itself, like you close your HTML tag. 
and inside the html where will be the content the content will be in the body tag put it put a body tag over here and uh, then uh, inside the body tag uh, we just need to give all that okay so i'm putting a heading and i'm i'm uh, aligning this uh, heading in the center so i'm saying align h2 align is equal to put it in the center um so what i need to put okay so i am saying that it is bookstore um okay so bookstore or book catalog whatever you want you can put i am saying bookstore and then this is my heading after the heading according to your problem statement you need to give uh, uh, render the contents in the format of a table right uh, so that's what i am doing here i am taking the table tag and i'm giving a border to the table so the border is equal to so i'm putting it as 2 and then i'm aligning the table in the center so i'm saying align is equal to so put it in the center uh, so this is what i have done in the table tag after the uh, giving the table tag now comes the table row uh, so inside the table row uh, your in your problem statement it was mentioned that the table uh, first heading okay so whatever header that you have table header whatever the first column need to be in gray so i just have given the color gray bg color gray over here and then uh, so next we have the heading right uh, so column headings we have so the first column heading is the title okay so the first column heading is the title so close the th and then you have one more heading which is the uh, author so just put all the headings okay and column headings these are the column headings so then uh, again you have uh, um next one is the isbn right so i am saying isbn isbn close this so uh, heading column heading again i have another one which is uh, publisher this needn't match with the uh, tags okay like the syntax and all the case sensitive and this is these are just headings you can put it in upper case or lower case or in combination you can change them or do whatever you want you can do with them okay so after the addition uh, give the price okay so this is the price okay so these are all your uh, headings uh, then close your tr tags uh, and now we need to uh, take all the content from the uh, book tags and put it on the table right so that is what is your table data to do that in excel uh, so you have uh, this is xml style sheet right so you have a, a construct which is called as for each for each like a, a book uh, tag okay so we just need to uh, loop through the book tag and then I, that's why i'm saying for each uh, select okay so what is select select is equal to so you need to go to the bookstore and then uh, slash the book tag okay so select the through all this okay um, then i am saying that it is table row and inside the table row what do you have so let me close the table row and then in between this uh, table row uh, i need to put the table data right so what is the table data so the table data is uh, let me actually close this and give the table data so to give the table data again i need to say xsl uh, colon value of okay so what is the value of each and every book tax which is title and all that so i am saying select is equal to value of select is equal to so what is the tag it is the title tag so i am saying title and uh, close this title tag and uh, then close the td tag as well okay so this is what we have done if you want to give any styling to it you can give so i am saying bg uh, colors is equal to uh, so i am saying it is uh, aqua 
uh, so I just gave some styling okay and then for uh, then process to the next tag which is the what uh, the other tag so I'm giving the other over here okay uh, the other tag uh, but here for the other tag uh, we want uh, to have a different styling right uh, so let me do that styling over here so I'm putting the BG color to be yellow for the other okay so I have put the color to be yellow and uh, then let me give uh, the styling okay so the CSS styling over here so I said style is equal to uh, so let me give the font weight so which needs to be bold right so font weight is bold and uh, what else uh, so we need to uh, capitalize it so text transform so you have a property which is text to transform uh, so you want to transform it like capitalize right so capitalize is the value of this particular property so i just have given all this for this particular styling right uh, so let us take the next one uh, so the next uh, uh, one is your isbn so just change it to isbn okay and change the color so let me put a uh, red color okay let me go to the next uh, tag what is the next tag next tag is the uh, publisher here you need to give the uh, spellings and all that properly so it is publisher and uh, let me give the color which is blue okay and then next one is the edition okay let me give green okay let me go back to the next one so which is the price okay so what is the color so let me give pink color to this okay so i have finished uh, looping through each and every book tag over here taking the title and putting it in row and for the next iteration it takes the next book and book tag uh, open and uh, takes the book tag open book tag and close book tag iterate through all the title author and all that take the values put it in a particular row and then go to the next row and all that so here i have closed the uh, tr tag and after that i need to close the xsl uh, the for each right okay so i need to close that uh, so i'm saying xsl for each i'm closing this tag here and after that we need to close the table tag so close the table tag so table tag is closed now okay and after that close the body tag so which we have already done it okay and html and after that we need to close the template which is xsl template tag so close the template tag and then finally close the style sheet okay so which is xsl colon style sheet okay so we are closing everything now okay so save this friends uh, so i have saved this okay so this is my xsl file now your xsl is ready okay but we need to connect it with the xml right to connect it with the xml so i'm going to the xml uh, document now so open it so open it so i'm opening it in the notepad so you can see that uh, i haven't connected the uh, style sheet over here in the xml document so to do that i just need to use the uh, tag here okay so on top okay so on top after your xml declaration so i'm taking one more tag and i'm saying xml style sheet okay so xml hyphen style sheet okay so this is how i'm establishing a connection xml style sheet and type is equal to so what is the type it is a text file and what is the what is its type it is an xsl type so I just have given that 
then give href is equal to so since both the files are in the same folder i just need to give the name of the style sheet itself so i am saying it is bookstore.xsl will be enough for me okay finally close the tag give a question mark and the greater than symbol so by this what i did i have connected the xsl to the xml file now our validation is over now we have created the style sheet and we have put the xml and xsl in the same folder now let us try to execute this i'll show you the execution so let me open this in the browser okay so i'm saying open this in the microsoft edge so as you can see that when i have opened it in the microsoft edge it is not opening for me why it is not opening for me is because i have connected one file inside another file where it is against the policies of the edge that it won't be showing you the content so for that you need some ides so wherein i have used the ide which is called as your xml spy so you can see that xml spy is over here okay so let me open the xml spy okay so this is xml spy 2022 um i'll show you the installation of this in the later video so this is how the ide looks okay so let me open my xml file so you have a open symbol here so click on this open go to the bookstore so this is what we have created right and load your xml document so this bookstore is your xml document then click on open as you click over here so you can see at the bottom you can see that uh file xml bookstore.xml is valid okay it is uh, saying that it is valid and all the validations are also there so that's why it is saying that it is valid and say for example i am commenting this dtd okay um say that i i am commenting this and then we'll check on what will happen so you can see that an xml document can't be valid without dtt but it is, it can still be well formed so it is giving us an error that dtd need to be there to validate your xml so you can also check your validation over here in your xml file okay so now that i have uncommented it okay so this is now actually valid so you can see that it is responsive it is giving a prompt response uh, then and there itself okay so it is saying bookstore.xml is valid say for example i'll take off this publisher from here okay so straight away it is giving me the validation it is saying that publisher is not found okay so validations also can be done in your xml file now let me execute this to see the result of this you just need to press on the browser over here so as i click in the on the browser so you can see that okay so this is the final output so wherein you have got the title and then you can see that the first letters are capitalized okay so if you just go back and see um uh, in your xml document so let me actually open the xml document for you um so go back to the text uh, so you can see that i have given this k over here for the other this k over here is in lower case and l is in lower case and s is in lower case but in your output you can see that it is capitalized because we have used the property which is uh, uh, capitalized text to transform capitalized okay so this is the isbn number and this is the publisher and all that okay and we also have uh, made the font weight to be bold you can see that the output font weight is bold okay fine friends uh, so this is your experiment i hope um this explanation of mine is helpful to you thank you for watching